This video will show you how to install the S6-GR1P 7-10 K03 Namlos Venutes Jap Dash and D. Attention! Electrical equipment shall only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the inverter user manual before installation and verify that all the accessories are included in the box. The inverter is heavy. Please pay attention to personnel safety during handling and installation. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat dissipation, and avoid direct sunlight. When the inverter is running, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltage. Please install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Install the back plate. Appropriate space should be reserved around the installation location of the inverter. Using a level ruler to ensure collimation level after determined the installation position of the back plate. Mark the punch point with a marker. Drill holes approximately 60 mm deep with a 10 mm drill at the marked point. Insert the expansion bolts into the four punched holes. Align to the exposed screws and install the back plate in correct place. Fix the back plate onto the wall using gaskets and nuts. Tighten the bolt. Fix the four corners of the back plate in the same way. Back plate installation is complete. Mount the inverter. Align the inverter with the hooks on the mounting plate and hang it. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the fixing holes. Inverter installation completed. Grounding cable connection. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Solis demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, High voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the inverter, please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. AC side connection. Unscrew the four screws of the bottom AC junction box. Remove the AC junction box. Thread the cable through the nut, jacket, and AC end box. Connect the cable to the AC terminal. Close the AC junction box, tighten the four screws, and tighten the nuts. Communication connection. Plug the CT cable into the port. Connect the RS485 cable to the DRM port. If you choose a Solis data logger, please connect it to the CARM port at the bottom of the inverter. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up.